Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to create a drawing in Affinity Designer for your Cricut to draw with markers. In case you're not familiar with the drawing function of the Cricut, there's these markers for the Cricut. These are the ones that came with mine, but there's all different kinds and you can stick it in your Cricut and have your Cricut draw. If you're creating something that you want the Cricut to draw with the markers, then you have to actually create it with the intent that it's going to be used for drawing in the Cricut. And what I mean by that is if you bring a drawing into design space and make it into to a draw layer, then the Cricut is actually going to draw around all of the lines in the drawing. So the Cricut is actually going to outline each line because each line is actually a shape. What we need to do is create the artwork with lines and these are going to be the lines that the markers are going to follow when the Cricut draws. Hopefully this will make more sense as we go along. Let's create a new file in Affinity Designer. You can just leave all of the default settings here. I'm going to pull in a sketch because I always like to start with a sketch when I draw something in vector. So I'm going to click the little file icon with the three dots and place image, import from photos. I've selected my drawing and now I'm going to click and drag. It doesn't really matter how big you make it, just big enough so that it's easy for you to draw on it. And now that that's there, we can go to the layers and we're going to select this layer, go to the options, the three dots, and we're going to turn down the opacity so that it's going to be light and that way we'll be able to sketch over it better. And then we're going to lock it so that we don't accidentally move it later. Then we can go back to our layers, create a new layer, vector, we're going to select the brush tool and then first let's just draw with it and you can see that the line is very thick so let's just make it thinner like one. Also you don't want it to get thicker if you push harder you want it to always be the same width because we're only doing a line we're not going to have any styling on the line which means we're not going to have it get thick and thin. So your controller you put it to none. Lastly click on this little stroke here you want to click on this little wavy line here, so not the brush, but just the stroke one. Now we can start drawing. And once you draw a stroke, if you want to edit it, then you can use this little node tool right here. And you can move these around, you can even delete some which I really like to do because then it just makes the whole thing smoother when you have less points on it. Also, don't worry about the different colors for now. We'll end up setting those in design space. So for now, just draw the lines in. For an area like this where you would want it to be filled with black, the only way you can really do it, because we're using the marker in the Cricut, you have to think of how you would color it with a marker, which you would basically color it like this, right? So that's what you'll have to do in order to color it in. So you can just go up and down like this. However, the thickness of this pen probably isn't going to exactly correspond with the thickness of your marker. So this may not actually fill it all the way. This is kind of something you would just have to test out and see if you need to add more lines in. If we wanted to, just to be safe, we could use the move tool and grab it all. Click on the stroke here and make it even smaller. So maybe like 0.5. And then fill it in more. But I would say it's definitely good to test it out. Also, just as a shortcut, I can grab my move tool, grab this whole eye, and then just duplicate it. So I'll click these three dots and duplicate and then I'll just move it over here. When I have a line like this that should be continuous but then it's gonna be broken, one thing I like to do for that is draw the whole line and then grab the node tool 
wherever you click with the node tool, it's going to add a point. So you can add a point where you want it to break and then click break. And now you're going to have two separate lines here. And I can also add a point right where I want to break it there. And then if I click this node and delete it, and then this random node that was here, delete it. And now it's broke. So definitely play around with all of those options at the bottom because they can be really useful. Now that I'm done tracing this, I can go to my layers palette and I'm just going to collapse this layer and then I'll click on my sketch layer and delete it. So all that's left is my vector layer. And one last thing before we export it, go ahead and grab your move tool and make sure the whole thing is selected. And we're just going to make sure some settings are right because Affinity Designer can be a little bit buggy with the exporting. So we're gonna click on this stroke here and you wanna make sure that it's on this one with the line and not the brush. Click Advanced and then you wanna make sure the cap, join, and angle are all on the first option, which is the default. And that should be good. Then you can close that and then we can click on the little file icon with the three dots and export. And you want it on SVG. You can leave all of these as the default. Give it a name. Now we can go into Cricut Design Space. I have an empty project here, so I'm going to upload. And I'll do Browse Files because this is gonna be saved as a file rather than an image since it's an SVG. Give it a name. I'll go ahead and make this bigger. And then we're gonna go to edit and click on the cut option and change it to draw. And then we can ungroup everything. We'll go to actions, ungroup. That way we can do different colors. So for example, I can grab the butterfly wings and go to edit. And maybe I wanna make those this red color. So I will pick a red color here. It's hard to see in the video, but the butterfly wings are red. So just go ahead and set all of the colors how you want them to be drawn. Once you're done with that, you're ready to use it to draw with the Cricut. So I'll go ahead and save this. And I'm actually going to switch over to my computer to do the Cricuting part because it's just easier for me than the iPad. Here I am in Cricut Design Space on my computer and here's that project. I pulled it up and I do want to make sure that it's a size that I want. Maybe I will make it like five inches wide and then I'm going to make sure I attach it all so that all the strokes are in the right place and then I'll click make it. I'm just going to move it a little bit further in and then I'll do continue. And while editing this video, I realized that I had the material set to vinyl, so make sure that you actually set the right material. It didn't really make too much of a difference with my project, but just in case, make sure you select the right one. And then here it's telling me to load my black pen in clamp A, and I don't need anything in B, but I can still leave the blade in there, that's okay. And I'm going to put some light cardstock on my mat. It'll always tell you when you need to switch your pen. So just go ahead through all the steps and switch the pen when it tells you to and watch your Cricut draw. I hope you like this tutorial. Let me know if you end up creating some artwork for your Cricut to draw. I would love to see it and if you have any questions as always let me know in the comments or you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!